Okay, so to extract the chlorophyll from spinach leaves, I've cut two grams of spinach and put it in there. And then going to add three milliliters of acetone. So that's my three milliliters of acetone. Now I'll give it a nice mixer. grind as much as you can and then you're left with sort of a liquid. I'm going to put that into a test tube. And for the next step I'm going to add three milliliters of acetone and five milliliters of hexane. So that's my mixture. I'll just pour it in. So different pigments will suspend in the acetone compared to the hexane. I'll give it a good grind down. And then once again, I'm left with a sort of solution. I'm going to lift that up and put it in the same test tube. Once I've lifted all of this up, I'm going to leave this to settle for about 10 minutes. It's started to separate and you can see at the bottom, it's a nice clear solution. So I'm going to lift that and put it into a centrifuge tube and then use that to put onto a, the TLC plate. But at the same time, I've also taken our solvent for this, which is acetone and hexane, and put it into a beaker and cover the lid just to allow the solvent to fully surround it. Take a TLC plate, measure one and a half centimeters from the bottom and draw a line. Don't stretch, go be quite gentle with the pencil, you can break a hole in it. And in the middle of that, I'm just going to draw an X where ultimately I'm going to spot my solution. So I've centrifuged down the pigment that I've extracted and I've lifted it in a capillary tube. And you can see where I've drawn an X, not very neatly, but you can do it neater. I'm just going to touch and get a dot. And then I'm going to lift it and dry it. I just dry it by moving. So you're going to want to repeat this and so you have about five dots in the same place and make sure they dry between each one. The more dots you add, the brighter it will be. I'm gonna add just add the four. And then I have the beaker with my acetone and hexane solvent. So I'm happy it's dry. I'm now gonna carefully put it in so that the bottom of the paper is inside the liquid, but the line has to be above it. And then I'll put the lid on and I'll allow that to run. So that can take a while and then we can look at the result. Okay, so the TLC is nearly finished and you can see the solvent is reached near the top. So I'm just gonna lift it out and put it, give it a slight shake and put it on some blue roll. So now I want to mark the solvent front so it dries very quickly and it was just at the top of this yellow line. 
and that's my solvent front when you come to calculate so I'll just put a ruler there you're going to be measuring from the line where it started and then you're also going to want to oh you're going to want to measure to where the solvent ran, ran and that's the bottom one that you divide everything by but you're also going to want to look at all pigments so how many do you think there are and if I move the ruler in you can then hopefully calculate how far each spot has run this you should be able to work out the RF values for each pigment and then do some research there's some information on the sheet that might help you to work out what pigment is which